Okay, well we are up here at Robert Bowdy's Savage Kingdom to rescue these four tigers and it's taken us about a half an hour to find the place once we got off the, off the highway and we're here and it's locked. We've called and hopefully they will come to let us in. We're going to do an assessment of the four tigers that we're supposed to rescue in two days and see if the cages are safe and see if they're healthy enough for us to get them out of here. So. What are their names? Uh, Modnik. Okay. Modnik? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have that. Okay, so we've seen the cats. Um, it, it doesn't look too terrible. Uh, they're definitely not. Um, I'll be glad to get them out of here, let's just put it that way, as far as uh, their food and water situation goes. They don't have a whole lot, um, especially the male and female together, don't have a whole lot in their cage and it'll be good to get them out of here. It doesn't look like we're gonna have too much difficulty, knock on wood, but we'll see what happens on Friday. I think we can get our transport cages up there and they will be much better off uh, with us and you know, definitely the alternative is them being put down. So, um, see you on Friday. The fact that we have over 100 animals here at the sanctuary right now means that we have a lot to do every day. We don't know anything about their, their medical history, so we will, they all will get checked by our vet. The male will be neutered. Uh, the female who lives with them will be spayed. You know, there's a lot that goes into it, and there's a lot of work for the volunteers who already have a lot to do. So, you know, there's cage clearing, there's pulling weeds. A few of our quarantine cages don't get used very often, and although they're in perfect shape, they still, they still have weeds overgrown. They still need to be ready for a new arrival. So we've had a full day of work just to get ready for these cats tomorrow morning and it's taken a lot out of the volunteers. There's also a lot to get ready in the hospital. We want to have our, our drugs ready in case we have to sedate any of the animals, in case the vet needs to look at them right away. And, and God forbid in case we would have some kind of situation along the way that they would need to be sedated. Whether that's you know any incidents happening with transporting or re transferring them from the transport cages to their new enclosures. So there's a lot that'll go into it. and. Really, you know, I'm glad we can rescue these cats, but we have a lot to get ready and we've got a lot more to prepare. It's hard to see the bigger picture sometimes. You know, every time we do a rescue, that means there's animals out there that don't have homes. And the very few that, that we're able to rescue, it doesn't even put a dent in all the animals that need homes. And, and we were just lucky, the timing was right this time, that we could bring these cats here. And especially when we knew that Friday was the deadline. It was either they were gonna come here or they were gonna get put to death. But in all reality, a lot of animals are killed just because they've outlived their usefulness or people can't take care of them anymore. So the ultimate goal would really be not to do any more rescues, not to have to, to save animals from death because they're no longer of any use to humans. And basically that's all these animals were, were bred for, was to be, you know, to be uh, uh, someone's way of making a living or entertainment for someone. And in all reality, these are tigers. They're magnificent creatures that should be out in the wild. And although we closed a chapter, this, this chapter has been closed on Savage Kingdom, which had bred and produced a lot of, of animals to put out there, you know, you still wonder what where the rest of them are going to end up. And a lot of them were, well, as far as we know, they were all intact, so they were all capable of breeding. But you just wonder, uh, what's it going to take to, to stop this problem with these unwanted tigers? There were 30, 30 animals that needed homes. Luckily, we could take the last four before they were euthanized. Well, the story had a happy ending. We got the cats back here to the sanctuary um, to Big Cat Rescue. And we've got one of them, this is Bodnik, in the back there. And they're all pretty relaxed. They had a rough journey, and these cats hadn't really been out of their enclosures their entire lives. And some of them were 12 years old, 13 years old. So they had been in the same small cages. So it was a little bit traumatic getting them out and getting them here. Uh, now that they're here and in the cages, they're starting to calm down. Everything is pretty good. Hi, Bella. Girl. 